Hi, Ian Roberts and Mastering Composition. I wanted to look at a couple of things from last week. Um, a number of people were asking me about the brushes I was using in making those smaller paintings. And they're just these like $2 bristle brushes that are made in China. You get them at the hardware store, you know, and they get pretty roughed up by the time you've used them a while. But um, they're good for laying in big masses and um, I, they were not house painting brushes cut down. They, they just come just like that. And the other thing is there was a real jump in viewership last week. And I think the idea of abstraction appeals to people, not because they want to make abstract paintings. They want to be able to express themselves just using these few simple shapes and being able to work on that and not getting bogged down in detail and not getting bogged down in rendering. And so as one person pointed out, they always thought that looser meant faster. And in fact, it's probably the exact opposite. You know that adage for carpenters, you know, measure twice, cut once. And in a sense, it's like that. When you're getting looser, you want to make sure that you've got a good foundation. You've got a few simple value masses that are carrying it. And then you can sort of express into those simple value masses. Now, one of the things that I was going to do this week is show a complex scene, a street scene with, you know, cafe chairs and people and everything like that, it's very complicated, and show how I would crop it and then how I would draw it to simplify it so we're getting back to that idea of really looking at value masses and a more design-driven rather than subject-driven image. And so I'll show you that. I'll just show you little bits of the drawing. Um, I'm, going to have the, the, I'm going to have the drawing, the whole drawing, it's about maybe 20 minutes long, uh, with no voiceover down below. There's a link down below in YouTube. There's a link down below in the email if you're getting the email each week. And you can just watch the whole thing if you just want to see me draw the whole thing in. But you get the idea just in the two, three minutes that I have in this. And so you just see that I'm simplifying it down and then pushing visually in my mind, I'm pushing the simplicity. And next week, you know, I'll do a painting of it. So there's the image for this week. And it's a complex cafe scene in Provence. There's a lot of stuff going on. And you're thinking, well, I don't know, it seems kind of busy maybe, isn't it? But that big grumpy guy on the left hand side, all that stuff there, my first thought was I would get rid of that because I like that lady with the newspaper and the darks behind it. But then I start looking at those chairs and think, oh my God, they're going to be like, I'm just going to render a nightmare. I'll be spending all my time making sure that they're in perspective. So I'm just going to get rid of those too. And now you start to say, hmm, that's looking pretty interesting. I'm just getting some interesting shapes now that'll be the chairs, but I don't have quite so much complexity to it. And I've just got that woman against all this dark stuff back there. I'd knock a little bit off the top. And then uh, I would, I'm just going to do this for you visually. I would just black that whole thing right out, simple, so that I just have this sense of her against the big dark shape. And then I would reduce and get rid of the... Um, ashtrays and cups and things like that because I just want to have this one sense of this is what we're looking at and there is the cropped image ready to work with and you know the fact that I would just use all that stuff in the background and the ashtrays and so on I just get rid of them visually I just wanted to show you mentally what I'm thinking of before I begin and then here is the actual drawing. I'm just going to show you little excerpts of it. But you'll see that I'm just putting in one big, really simple, dark shape back there. And I'm doing it slowly, carefully to get that sense. But it's really meditative to me. You know, it's not hard. It's just you just slow down and you, in, you know, in I think the whole drawing took me 25 minutes. But... Um, it just really sort of gives you a sense of what the shapes are, how they interact, 
what's going to happen when you start painting. So it's like there's one value for that, one value for her face, at least. And so I've got that in, you know. And then some of those chairs and bits and pieces going, they're quite complicated. And so I'm having to sort of sort it out and figure out what this shape is doing and what light is coming in from behind it and trying to figure that out as I draw so that when I paint it, I know and I'm not just muddling through with paint and getting things not working. I've got a really clear sense of what you can see. I'm just trying to figure out the different shapes in there and then there's that dark shape there. And Okay, that whole thing then is dark and then I've just got one layer of dark and then a second layer of dark and that thing starts to come together as a simple set of shapes to do the role of that particular chair, you know. So, I mean, I'm just working through each little bit. I'm just showing you how I go through that whole thing to build it up. And then just these simple dark and light shapes down here, getting very simple down here because I don't want much attention down there. But you can see I'm really pushing towards these big lit shapes with the chairs on it and then moving up to this figure in shadow even against the dark. And I'm getting a pretty good sense of what all the shapes are and how it's all going to look uh, when it's done. And there's the finished drawing. I'm not worried particularly about the way the woman looks or whether her face works or not. But I'm getting a really good sense of the lights, the darks, and how they all fit together for how I'm going to paint it. And it's really worth the effort to kind of put in that time before you begin to paint so you've got a strong sense of what's going to happen when you pick up the brush. So I hope you found that helpful. And just that idea again of simple masses and moving towards a design driven image and cropping in order to start to have that possibility. So please do like the video if you liked it. Please do subscribe and of course sign up for my email on my email list in order to get this every Tuesday in your inbox. I will see you next Tuesday. Have a great week. And bye for now.